Good morning, folks. Let's come directly to spaceweathernews.com and peek in on our star in 193 angstroms. Turns out that the planetary alignment solar eruption trigger can exist in harmony with the Earth-facing solar quiet. The sun can get angry when the planets align, he just can't take it out on us. Perhaps you noticed that one of the incoming plasma filaments is no longer a potential eruption threat in the coming days because he got up and left early. However, what was nearly impossible to see in 193 angstroms was the titanic filament down south also not wanting to mess with our planet hitting the eject button himself. You can see how only a portion releases as the sun brings a good deal of the material back down. And alas, despite the solar uptick continuing, it's not in the realm of X-ray solar flares. The lead umbra is the only one that remains on the disk at the moment, and when we pull 171 angstroms and do a color negative, we can get detailed looks at the umbral magnetic field structures and catch any flare potential as flashing near the surface. None of that at all right now. In fact, with the filaments releasing before they face Earth, we're left with the Earth-facing coronal hole setting its stream our way as the top space weather alert. Tough to tell if the foregoing northern aspect of that will affect our planet, but we can say that this morning presents a rise in solar wind density to the point where it is beginning to add notable pressure and stress on Earth's electromagnetism with the KP index, magnetometer, and electron flux all indicating that the stream character is in flux and Earth's magnetic magnetic shield is doing some extra work this morning. Top news today includes El Misti in Peru, highly populated area nowadays since it's been 500 years since its last eruption. However, magmatic activity and gaseous emissions suggest the slumber is over. Evacuation plans being yanked from old files, and apparently an odd mix of incredulity and fear is spreading through the local communities according to social media. Syracuse University gets 10 points for wrangling in those last fearful folks about ice loss in Antarctica, which spent the majority of the last four years breaking record high ice marks, actually, and for promptly baiting, switching, and flipping the script on them, explaining why the sheet is more stable today than in the past. If you read the article, you really don't see it coming till the end. If you are just a morning news watcher and you haven't checked out all the other free stuff on the homepage of suspiciousobservers.org, it is so, so worth the zero dollars it costs to watch them. They're also designed to tell you whether or not it's worth it for you to get a membership to the site. Remember folks, observing the frontier is going on, and then we got the two to three days of travel back to Pittsburgh, so emails may be taking a back seat here. If you have an actual website support item, we'll get to that. Otherwise... Probably not. Got your pressure and radar forecasts, current global conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in Phoenix, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.